Hi, Luke here with catsandcarp.com, and I'm going to tell you how to identify the various species of catfish. Here in North America, we have three common species of catfish that people generally like to fish for. There's flathead catfish, blue catfish, and channel catfish. Now those are not the only species of catfish that we have in North America that people fish for. There's also several species of bullhead catfish, white catfish, and there's also the gaff topsail catfish. I'll also show you some of the European, Asian, African, and South American catfish as well. If you're fishing in North America and you catch a large catfish, it's generally pretty easy to tell which species of catfish you have. As the fish get older, they, their differences become more distinct. However, when you catch a small fish, it's much harder to tell what kind of species you have. A lot of people depend on the coloration of the catfish to give them a clue of which kind of fish they've caught. This isn't very reliable. There's a lot of variety. Flathead catfish can vary in color from dark brown to yellowish in co color. Some of flatheads have speckled spots on their body, some don't. Blue catfish can range from almost pure white to gray. Channel cats range from yellowish in color to bluish in color to brown. There's just a wide variety in the colors of each of the three species. So saying if it's blue, so therefore it's a blue catfish, isn't a safe bet. And not all brown fish or channels or yellowfish flatheads, it varies a lot. The flathead catfish is one of the three big species of catfish here in North America. However, it's the only one of the big three species that does not have a forked tail. If you look at a flathead catfish's tail, there's no fork in it. It has the same type of tail as a bullhead. Um, bullheads also don't have fork tails. So if you look at catfish it doesn't have a fork tail, you either have a bullhead or a flathead catfish. The flathead catfish can get up to 100 pounds. Bullheads rarely get over 3 or 4 pounds. So if you have anything bigger than 3 or 4 pounds and it doesn't have a fork tail, you know you have a flathead. If it's smaller than 3 or 4 pounds, the for sure way to tell is you look at the jaw. Bullhead catfish do not have an underbite. Their top jaw and lower jaw are even with one another. Flathead catfish have an underbite. Their lower jaw sticks out further than their upper jaw. Now I'm going to show you how to identify blue catfish. Blue catfish and flathead catfish are hard to get confused. As I mentioned before, flatheads don't have forked tails, blue catfish do, their coloration is usually very different, so not too many people get those two fish confused. However, blue catfish and channel catfish, or blue catfish and white catfish, those can often be confusing. Now, the easiest way to identify a blue catfish is the size. So if you have anything over you know, 40 pounds, odds are you're dealing with a blue catfish. Um, white catfish don't get over 20 pounds. The for sure way to tell on smaller fish is the anal fin. Blue catfish have a rectangular anal fin. It's got a flat leading edge and square or, uh, corners. None of the other catfish, the bullheads, channels, the whites, have the square anal fin. Another thing is the blue catfish is native to more the uh, Gulf Coast and uh, kind of the uh, Mississippi Delta, that area, though they've been stocked along the eastern seaboard in a lot of lakes around. So you can't always tell by geographic region either because they've been stocked so much and they've spread outside their native range so much. White catfish are much more scarce. There's only a few places in the country you can actually find white catfish. They tend to be um, in tidal rivers on the east coast. If you're in one of these areas that has white catfish and you're not sure whether you have a blue catfish or a white catfish, look at the anal fin and look at the size of the fish to know for sure which species you've got. Channel catfish are the most populous and most common of the three types of big catfish. They're also the smaller of the three. Young channel catfish tend to be yellowish in color and have little random dark uh, dots on their side. Channel catfish also have forked tails. So a lot of people confuse flatheads and channel cats when they're small. Uh, the best way to tell the difference is the tail. 
you look at the tail if it's got a forked tail it's a channel cat and if it's kind of a white creamy fish and you're wondering whether it's a blue catfish or a channel cat you look at the anal fin the anal fin is rounded on the edge it's a channel cat if it's flat and squarish it's a blue catfish in North America there are several species of bullheads but the three most common are the black bullhead the brown bullhead and the yellow bullhead um, the big difference is the coloration in their bellies and the coloration in their whiskers the only bullhead with the white chin whiskers is the yellow bullhead okay the brown bullhead and the black bullhead both have black chin whiskers but the black bullhead has a yellow belly and the brown bullhead has a white belly gaff top sail catfish are the easiest to tell of all these catfish we've mentioned first off they're a saltwater fish found in the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico you take one look at a gaff top sail catfish and you'll never forget it their dorsal fin is very long and flowing and, and very unique and their whiskers are also extremely long and flowing our catfish here in North America are fabulous but they're by no means the largest in the world in Europe the Wells catfish gets up to well over 200 pounds the world record Wells catfish is 297 pounds out of the Po River in Italy the Ebro River in Spain is also producing massive uh, Wells catfish over 200 pounds and any year now people are expecting there to be a 300 pound catfish caught in either Italy or Spain the Wells catfish has a very distinct body type. It's a long eel-like catfish. It gets seven to eight feet long easily. And their anal fin is long, running almost the entire length of their body. Huge, massive fish, and they're an extremely popular game fish in uh, the UK and in Europe. The largest catfish in the world is the Mekong catfish, which is believed to grow into the six, seven hundred pound range. Here are some pictures of just a few of the many catfish that sportsmen chase all over the world. catfishing and carp fishing videos to learn more about catching some of these great catfishes.